Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. I hope everybody's well. Throwing down cards for somebody today. Don't know who. Gemini. You're up. I never know who. I let the universe predetermine that. And really, I, I really have no idea when I pull the card off, so. I have no clue. All right, Gemini. For those of you who are new here and don't know the drill, I have to go through the spiel. Okay. This reading will be for Gemini for September 2021. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It is your free will to whatever you choose to do. With the message given by the card, you choose to do anything at all. It is your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your moon rising or Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid and all things can be your vice versa. Might even play it from the perspective of a cross watcher. Energy of friends, cross watchers are always welcome here at the Fire Sign Tarot table. Everybody's always welcome at my table. I appreciate you coming by. Say hello. Hang out with the crazy old tarot lady. Sitting in the back room of her house, just kind of chilling. Throwing down cards, having a good time. While you're here, if you think we vibe, think we're going to get along, you can hit the subscribe button and notification bell. That'd be super cool. If you like the reading, you can hit the like button. That'd be awesome. Really appreciate it. It all helps the channel. Okay, so. Before I invoke and throw them down, two things we have to go over. Ace of Wands, Ten of Swords. ADD moment. Anyway, for some of you, this could be the end of a painful cycle and the beginning of a new fiery passionate one. That's not bad news, right? Let's we'll see if they come back out and spread. Okay. Where were we? Oh, those two things we gotta go over. One. Never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. It's just not a good idea. By life-altering, I mean if if you make the wrong choice, it, it will destroy everything you've worked for. I highly suggest that you not take the advice of a deck of cards. Okay? Go inside, do what you gotta do. Okay. Two. It is not your reading, not your story, not your message. It's not vibing with you in any way, shape, or form. And it doesn't fit. It's not making sense in your life. Leave the cards on the table and walk away. It is just simply not your message, Gemini. We'll try again next time. And I'm going to use the shoe analogy. You wouldn't buy a pair of shoes that you'd never wear, right? One that just doesn't fit, doesn't go with anything you own, doesn't make sense. Okay. So long as we understand each other. Universe Source, Spirit Guides, Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit. Thank you for coming down and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given. And I ask that you help me use it to clearly and accurately bring Gemini to their highest possible spiritual good. Put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Gemini, why are you here? The moon. Could be a Pisces you're dealing with. Doesn't necessarily have to be. There's questions and secrets. Could be on your part. Could be someone else's. Things do not look the same in the moonlight than they do in the sunshine, do they, Gemini? Okay. Hmm. Huh. Okay. All right. What happened? The devil. Could have been dealing with a Capricorn. Speaks of a binding connection. It can speak of obsession and toxicity. We'll see what the rest of the cards have to say. This is the energy of the past. So moving into the now. It is swords reversed. Coming out of a cage of your own thoughts about something. So, if this connection had you kind of all whoop de woo <laughs> not quite sure what the hell was going on, 
all up in your head. And you're out of that state now. Thing, things are becoming clearer. There's less confusion. You've walked out of your own cage. I'm proud of you. All right. What's coming in? Queen of Swords. Okay. Could represent a person. Could represent your energy. Depends what the cards have to say. It's honest conversations. It's communication. She's extremely honest. And sometimes she uses that sword to cut things out of her life if it is necessary. We'll see what the rest of the cards have to say. I feel like this is you going into Queen of Swords mode in the immediate future. All right. Outcome. Ace of Swords reversed. Could be a possible end to new communication. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Okay. Mm, first card out is water. So we're going to use the gilded. Okay. All righty. Just had to make sure that this little deck and this deck didn't fall into each other. Oh, I love it when I have embarrassing moments like that. The universe meant for that to happen, so we're going to roll with it. All right. Universe source spirit guides, can I get... The energy of the person or situation that Gemini is dealing with for September 2021. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. swords reversed in the past for them maybe they were all up in a mental prison and came out of it in the past possibly in regards to this binding connection I mean hmm. in the now eight of pentacles putting energy into something. Maybe they've been spending a lot of time on work. Future, it wands reversed. Huh, well, that's interesting. Outcome temperance reversed. Oof. Gemini. <sighs> Coming out of that mental prison, yet things aren't eliminated. Binding could have been toxic. Honest conversations coming up. It wants lack of forward movement to end to communication. No new communication. Negative energy. I kind of see where this is going already. Okay. Universe source spirit guides. I get clarity. Gemini and the person they're dealing with. Eight of Wands reversed, Nine of Pentacles reversed on the split. Maybe somebody feels like there's a little bit of codependent energy coming up. Put a stop to it real quick. Did I do it again? Seriously? You know, I think I have these cards sorted. It's supposed to be here. Four swords reversed. I'm leaving it. I'm setting it off to the side. You could potentially be restless. 
And because it was, yeah, this particular deck, I'm feeling like that was meant to happen. Maybe the situation has a little bit restless. All right, shuffle again. I gotta start like counting the cards before I begin, seriously. <laughs> happened in the Taurus reading too. Huh. Super weird. But the Taurus reading it was like a freaking card salad of mixed decks. Like forgetting to fasten your seatbelt. Okay. Oh, I'm feeling one more. Feeling one more. Mm. Six of Pentacles reverse, six of swords upright. could potentially be moving away from an unequal situation. a question? Hmm. I don't think I asked a question. Hold on. I gotta find the card now. Hold on. Because it went flying. I got it. It's wands. What are you doing here? Potential start to a fiery, passionate connection. I was looking at the devil, so I'm going to put it on the devil. Something tells me this happened kind of quick. Could have been sex-based, I mean, and I don't dance around that anymore for those of you who have been around for a minute. I just don't dance around it anymore. I'm going to throw it out there. Feels like it was quick, short-lived, and sex-based. Another one on the devil. Why not? Queen of Wands. Oh, you better freaking believe it. <laughs> she knows what she wants. She goes after what she wants. She gets what she wants. Sometimes she bounces out quick. Sometimes she hangs around. I don't know if this is you or the person you were dealing with. One more on the devil. Strength. It was an energy of someone trying to hold back in the past. Could have been a Leo you were dealing with. Could have Leo in the chart. You could have Leo in your chart. Possibly we're holding back some sexual energy. We're holding back emotions. This feels like holding back emotions. This connection was binding. All right, here enough, Gemini. Why the Eight of Swords reverse? Two of Wands. Coming out of a cage of your own thoughts, letting go of the wand of the past, moving forward toward the future. Picking a path. One more. Six cups. Another soulmate card. Another soulmate card. There's three on the board. Four if you count temperance, but she's in the reverse, so.
try to keep the energies even one more. Two of Pentacles. Still that indecisive energy. There's still an imbalance here. Could be because of the moon. Something isn't right. Either you're juggling still, or you feel like they're juggling. <sighs> Not gonna move forward to the immediate future yet. We're gonna come back and down and get the past for them. Why did they have the Eight of Swords reversed in the past? Hey, High Priest, Queen of Swords. Wow. So they felt the connection with you. That's another soulmate card, by the way. But they cut you out. They unlocked themselves from their from from their head prison, and they cut you out anyway. One more on that. I'm feeling like they spoke their truth and used their sword at the same time. Three of Pentacles reversed. Huh. Okay. No foundation. No coming together. All right, Gemini. All right, all right. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? For the other person in this scenario, in the now, why the Eight of Pentacles? It's the hanged man. I don't know if it's upright or reverse. Hangman reversed. So, still that little bit of kind of hung up energy. Let's straighten these out. It's kind of driving me nuts. Hold on. Kind of driving me nuts. There we go. I can still see everybody. Five of Pentacles. So, yeah, I think maybe they have been concentrating more on work. But they're still willing to put work into this. They're, they're still hung up on it a little bit. They want to come out of the cold. Five of Pentacles reversed. They miss you. Five of Pentacles reversed. Still up on the gallows about it a little bit. One more. Ten of Swords. They want to end the painful cycle. They want the sun to shine again with you. Hmm. Hmm. Well, it's very interesting. Can I get a binder? I'm not sure how we got to from point A to point B here. Nine of Pentacles reversed. I was afraid of that. Somebody's not wanting to be single anymore. I think it's you. I think you held back in the past. You felt the power of this, but you held back. And when you held back, when you withdrew, holding back, they felt the connection with you, but they're like, you know what? Um, if you're not in it, neither am I. <laughs> That's kind of how it went down. 
And somebody's ready to end this painful cycle with you. They're ready to work on it. If you're ready to work on it, but you're still juggling. You're still, I don't know. We had some good times. I want to let go of the past and move forward. I'm out of my mental prison about it, but I don't know. All right. Immediate future. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Why is the Queen of Swords here? For Gemini. Page of Swords. Oh, there's about to be some truth spoken. <clears throat> Truth's gonna be spoken. There's gonna be a conversation. One more. Why is no doubt playing in my head? Oh, really? I hate it when my dad does this. My dad is the one that plays the music in my head when I'm reading cards. And I have to figure out what it means. Don't speak. I know what you're thinking. <sighs> Three swords reversed. Put an end to the heartbreak. I don't need your reason. Don't tell me because it hurts. Second three. May have been a third party involved. A third party does not mean somebody was messing around, by the way. Okay? It is outside intervention, is all a third party is. It can mean cheating, but it doesn't have to. Do, do you get that? It doesn't necessarily have to mean somebody got cheated on. Okay? One more to even it out. Queen of Cups. Oh. 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 Gemini. All those emotions that you held back, I think, are just going to kind of flood. Two queens. You're coming back with the truth. And the truth is that you felt deep emotion for them and it was more than just a sex-based connection for you. Aww. All right, so, okay, so why they hate a wand reverse for the other person? Star reversed. Mm. The sun. Six of Pentacles. Did you see how that came out? Flipped around. Still in the deck. Flipped back around. They will not have healed yet. Yes, they acknowledge the connection to sun. Yes, they want equal give and take. But they have not healed. I don't want to jack up energies, but I need one more. Star reverse. They haven't healed.
it energy match. Six of Pentacles can mean energy match. They haven't healed. I haven't looked at this card yet, and I'm afraid to now. The universe gave it to me. Six of Wands. The return. You have each other's attention. Okay. It's card of victory. It's the card of victory. I'm willing to revisit this, but I have not healed. This I, I'm hearing this conversation. For some of you, it could mean an energy match. And they're going to revisit this. I feel like in the immediate future, this gets revisited. But an honest conversation is going to take place. Might take a minute. Eight of Wands reversed. Okay. Why is the Ace of Swords reversed here for the outcome for Gemini? Why the Ace of Swords reversed? Seven of Swords. Ten of Pentacles reversed. What? I'm sorry, what? Okay, Gemini, you just threw me for a loop. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Three of Cups, another three. I don't see you as the Seven of Swords. I see the other person. Because there's a seven of swords and a moon. There's things that you still don't know. Things yet to be illuminated. That's hesitation. Three of cups. I don't think you're going to be willing to walk into a third party situation with someone. So I think you might cut this off dead in its tracks. Because you want the Ten of Pentacles. You want the dream. You want the happy home with the big brick house, with the white picket fence, and the 2.5 kids and the dog. <laughs> and the pool out back, and the nice car out front, and the porch swing, sipping lemonade, watching the grandkids when you're 60. You want the dream. This third party here, there's lies. There's bullshit. You know it. And you're kind of feeling like that's not going to happen with this person as long as there's third parties, lies, and bullshit. I think somewhere in this honest conversation, things become illuminated. Temperance reversed on their side. Why is temperance reversed here? Could be a sad you're dealing with.
Ten of Wands reversed, unable to release the burden. Negative energies, impatience, imbalance. Will of Fortune reversed. They got something they got to release. They want this comeback, but there's something they got to release. There is an imbalance. Oh my gosh, the lovers came out. There is an imbalance in their world, and it has something to do with the choice. I'm feeling like there's a third party involved, Gemini. I really am. They want to return to this. They want to revisit this. Six of Wands. Will of Fortune reversed. There's a third party here. It doesn't necessarily mean somebody's getting cheated on. It means there's outside forces that are influencing this connection. Karma reversed. Shit, Gemini. It was looking so good, too. Never you fret. This is only a projected outcome. It ain't gonna play all the way the card says it's gonna play out. How do you feel about this person? How do you feel? You've come out of your head. So how do you feel? And better yet, better than how do you feel? What is your intuition telling you? King of Wands reversed. Hmm... King of Pentacles reversed. Four Cups. Give it a second. Give it a second. Okay, I would not move forward with this until you get that solid offer of stability and not this in and out crap. King of Wands reversed, Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Cups reversed. Eight of Swords, but don't let it reconsume you. Ace of Swords, Two of Swords. Sorry, Knight of Swords, Two of Swords. Make the best decision that you know how with the information that you have. If it's imbalanced, you feel like something's fishy, I wouldn't take the cup either. What's this deck got to say? Seven of Wands left at the bottom. Don't let this become another internal battle. King of Pentacles reversed. Hermit reversed. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Nine of Wands reversed. All right. Don't let this person steal your thunder. Don't. Don't let them make you feel like you're less than what you are. Don't go all into like super hermit mode and sit on the couch and binge watch John Hughes movies eating cheese puffs. Don't do that. Okay. Don't give up. Because I don't think you're meant to be single. I really don't. Don't give up. That's what I'm feeling off of that. Don't give up. If it's not this person, that person is out there. 
So there again, do what you're divinely guided to do. Emperor Knight of Cups reversed. Don't put a permanent hold on your cup. But maintain control. Okay. Four of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. Wheel of Fortune. Oh, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. She came back out. Ace of Wands. Give me a second. All right. Don't spend a lot of time going over the couldas and the wouldas and the shouldas and the spilt cups because you won't see the cup that the universe is trying to hand you that leads to that ten of pentacles. The dream. Wheel of Fortune in the upright. World reversed. I feel like there's an upward spiral here. But you might need to revisit something before something new can start. And oftentimes we have to revisit something in order to close it out so something new can start. Even if it means you decide you don't want to put energy into something because somebody hasn't been on the up and up. But you have to make that determination for yourself. Knight of Swords reversed, Page of Cups reversed at the bottom of these decks. Don't, list, don't let this become an internal battle. But you gotta sort the lies from the truth. Even if it means that you have to once again stop dealing with someone and jerk your cup back away. Get what I'm saying? All right. Gem, I love you. <laughs> Thanks for coming down to hang out. I appreciate you. Oh, this has been September. Hopefully, maybe in a couple of weeks, I'll do another September read. I don't know. It depends on how I feel. It's been a rough couple of days um, because of the rain that we've had. And the arthritis has been acting up, and that's why I've been kind of quiet and a lot of crap going on. So anyway, enough about me. I love you. Know that you're loved to be blessed, and I will catch you next time.